what's up you guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> and welcome to this video um yeah i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are being careful of the covid19 uh pandemic i hope you guys are actually washing your hands sanitizing everything and everyone and i hope you're self-isolating although i know for all of you guys who are working maybe you might be working from home but for some of us who haven't had that privilege as yet so if you're still going to work just be extra careful get the hand sanitizer get your wipes wipe everything your laptop your phone you know like just take the precautionary measures to make sure that you stay safe as much as you can and you protect your family um so yeah in light of self-quarantine <laughs> i am self-quarantining today from my house or well, from my place it's not a house but yeah so without any further ado um today's video is just about a decision that i had to make uh quite a few weeks ago you guys know we're in second year now and that basically means we have to decide whether we are doing the UCT board course for the APC exam or we're doing the APT, which is commonly known as the UJ um, course. So I will be discussing that in this video. I just have a pamphlet from the UCT um, APC exam or program and also the APT uh, board course um, information pamphlets. So yeah, I'm just going to be talking about these today and just sort of share with you guys um, like the differences between the two. If you're also faced with the same decision um, and you're writing your, your APC sometime later this year and you are looking to decide which um, professional exam or program to go with, then, you know, this video might just be for you. Um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on to this video. Wait, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone, your loved ones. Um, also, share with people who are still in, in, in varsity. I know this may not apply to them yet, but inevitably they are going through, they will go through that route and they will have to make the decision. It's kind of scary. Well, it's not that scary, but it's like... Yeah, it's, it's 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 a it's a quite difficult decision to make. So yeah, if if you can get any guidance in any way, then yeah. So okay, let's start with a few things first, right? For you to write the APC exam, psycho exam in November, you have to have passed the itc um exam right so you need to have passed the initial test of competence and you need to have completed a minimum of 20 months in your training so i have not yet completed 20 months in my training i think it's been 12 it's been 15 months now so but then by the time i will have to write the apc exam it would have been 20 months so that's why we start earlier at the beginning of the year we register at the beginning of the year so that by the time i have to write i have gone through either one of these programs and i am ready basically to face the final exam of this journey <laughs> so yeah um okay let's start with the apt one so the apt one is the one that most of us know as the uj board course it is not exactly uj um it does however have a lot of lectures from uj but it also has um other people who are administering the the program from other institutions and other universities so it is not a uj course but yeah a lot of us know it like that um okay let's start with um the classes right so both of these have classes um some i know the, the 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 apt one has formal contact classes but they also have online classes so if you're somebody who um maybe you know you cannot make it to the contact lectures um they also do have an online system where they 
post the lectures there you can watch the videos uh, during your own time i know for people who are in audit firms an example like me i'm gonna give you an example with me we have classes that our uh, firm is hosting for us every second friday of every month from the time when this program starts so twice a month we will go to the office and we will attend classes where they unpack you know what we need to know and the content for us where you can ask questions and all of that but also we do have lectures online that are posted in case you cannot make it to the formal lecture they post the lectures online and then you can have access to that as well um it is quite good to actually have like formal contact lectures because you know if you're somebody who likes to ask questions or somebody who like just need somebody to be there with you to explain the con the content then it's better for you to just get onto the contact classes um yeah so in april 2020 that's when this program will start and i'm sure they will communicate a lot of stuff um about contact classes and where you can find your nearest contact class session otherwise they do have online classes that you can attend right so that is for contact classes um they do have like a bunch of testimonials obviously of people who have used the program and you know have benefited from it and then another important thing is your dates right so with the dates or how the program runs is that in april um the program starts so basically in two weeks time the program will start how they have is they will have contact classes and they'll have quizzes online that you can do um just so you know you get used to that um what is it yeah you know what i mean you get used to the questions you get used to the content because i mean yes we are working but professional competence will still need to work towards that so basically they do have online quizzes that you will need to complete just to keep you on the loop and to keep you going and then in june we will have they have the first um apt assessment so basically this is an exam where you go sit for the whole day well it's not the whole day like eight hours it's like a normal day at work so you sit for like eight hours and you write this exam they simulate like a company and they give you all the information that you need um i know they do have pre-releases so if you're writing on a wednesday if the exam is on the wednesday the friday before they will give you a pre-release which is like information about the company you go research it for that friday the weekend the monday and the tuesday and then you have your triggers you have all of that stuff and then you go write in uh, the exam on the wednesday so they have their first assessment on the 20th of june luckily for this program they also have supplementary exams so if you don't perform very well in the first assessment you have the opportunity to do the supplementary exam which is will be in august so the supplementary exam to the june exam will be in august and then the second assessment is in september and then you also have a supplementary um, um exam to that in october and then you write the final apc exam in november so yeah that's that's the apt program it is quite a good program especially if you're somebody who needs someone to hold your hand in a physical class and show you the stuff and help you um you know yeah so how much does it cost sorry i nearly forgot that <laughs> uh for people who are like i don't know how how like companies do it like not in audit firms just like if you're doing your your articles in like a um, private company or somewhere like not an audit firm i don't know how it works but um the actual cost for an individual is around 13.250 thousand rand and then discounted bookings which are block bookings which is what audit firms do because they're booking for a lot of trainees they pay 10,600 rand per individual. So if you're paying this for yourself, you're going to be paying around 13,250. I think it's worth it. Um I mean the rewards after you pass this thing is endless, guys. So I think it's really worth it and that's the APT program. Uh remember you have contact classes, you have online classes, you have quizzes, you have assessments during the year 
and you have the final exam that you can write and supplementary exams as well in case you don't perform very well so with the apc one i mean with the uct one <laughs> with the uct one it's it's very similar to the apt or the uj one um with a bit of a difference so with this one um they are normally online based like I think 99% of their stuff is online. You can get online lectures, you have online assessments. Um, they have, um, um, well, what do they call them? Um, what's the word? No, I forgot. They have assignments. Yes, the word is assignments. <laughs> they have assignments every week. So to make up for the contact le uh, lectures that they don't normally have, what they don't usually have is they make assignments so every friday or every week i don't know when the date is you will have an assignment that you will have to complete it will either be an individual assignment or it will be a group assignment that you have to complete and and upload it online i think this program is actually quite good because every week you're doing something towards the exam like every week you're getting practice every week you're getting information every week you like you're enhancing your research skills and you're enhancing your competence as you go along so every week you work on something so this keeps you constantly engaged in your in your program it keeps you like constantly working so you don't forget stuff so if you are somebody who doesn't need to be pushed to work <laughs> if you're somebody who doesn't need like constant reminder that you have work to do constant reminder that you need to do this and you're somebody who does, doesn't need like people to explain stuff like physically this would be good for you like if you don't need any pushing any of that self-discipline this is really good because it works on your own time you can do it when you have time obviously the assignments that you have to submit every week you'd have to do every week but other than that the lectures you can do as and when you have time and i think it's really good if you're really busy and you just don't have the time at that time you can just defer it to a future date and watch the video so yeah i think it's really good the way this program works i've already spoken about the weekly assignments they also have an assessment on the same date as the apt one so um, in june they have an, ass an assessment and they also have another assessment in no 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 september yeah in september so the difference with this one is that the first assessment in june they do not have a supplementary for it so if you don't perform well you carry that with you until september in september you will do your second assessment and then then you will write the supplementary exam to the second assessment and then you can write the final um the final one so yeah they have they give us like examples of companies that they've had in their case studies i don't know if you guys can see that but this is just some of the companies that they've had and they have candidate testimonials this program um actually starts on the 30th of march so this starts way sooner than the apt one let me tell you like i wanted like i was so undecided on which program i'm gonna do between the two like i didn't know but i gravitated more towards the uct one because i'm i'm that person who doesn't need like i don't need someone pestering me about studying like i know i have to study i know this is what i want to achieve so i do study towards it you know what i mean like i don't need somebody to constantly remind me that you have to study i know i have to study so i actually wanted to do this um because i just like the the structure i liked the online stuff i like doing stuff at my own pace at my own time but then by the time i wanted to register it was already full so guys if you are planning on registering for the uct one you need to register well in advance their registration normally starts in september the previous year so their registrations for the 2020 apc exam registration opened in september last year well i didn't know then but now when i found out um they were already fully booked and 
yeah i couldn't register for this so i had to default register for that which is also not a bad uh, uh program i mean i could attend the classes if i want to or i can still do it online as i would as i wanted to do with with this one so i think um uh wait how much does the uct one cost uh okay so the uct one right costs thirteen thousand one hundred um if you're paying it for yourself i think they also do have like an installment type of thing so you can pay 4.6 the first installment and 4.6 the other installment 4.6 the third installment so you can pay like in three installments with this one well this one there's they don't say anything specific about installments to just give you the total figure so i think if you just go to their website and i will leave both websites in the description bar below um you can find out more information but yeah guys this is the decision i had to you know go through in the past month or so <laughs> so because this was fully booked this is initially what i wanted to do but it was fully booked so i had to default for that which is also not bad i'm actually quite happy because i have the option to attend the physical classes should i need to but also have the option to do the online um um, um content right so yeah that's basically it um i think you know both programs are good like they're good programs in their respective um uh, differences i think it just depends on the personality that you have as a candidate like if you need contact sessions if you're good online if you need to do work every week or you can go for like a few weeks without any work then you have to decide or make a decision as to which one of these you would want to do i think they're both good like their cost rates are also they're also pretty good they have also candidates in the honors role as well so yeah i think psycho recommends either of them so um, i mean if psycho recommends something honey it's good <laughs> so yeah um yeah that's it i think i don't know if you guys need any more information if you do i will leave the link to both their um, websites on below in the description bar you guys can comment and let me know if you are making this decision which one are you going with and why if you're not yet here i hope this video has shed some light as to the two i know they also have this for the itc exam but i think it's a little bit too late to do that video uh, maybe we can do that video towards the end of the year when like, you know, CTA is getting done and people are looking to register for which board course um, Yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video Remember to like my video to subscribe if you haven't already and to share it with your student friends Anyway guys, I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much Mwah.